it's basically using the Xbox 360 Connect system uh, and interfacing it with, uh, uh, well, let's, let's say using it more in a la laboratory environment. So if it'll track player motion without any kind of uh, extra uh, accessories, I guess, if you will, then why can't we use it to track other types of motion, you know, specifically spacecraft motion or, or things that we dream up with the depth information you have from this infrared camera along with the video you can get um, uh, depth data in respect to time which will give you things like deformation and motion and velocity and acceleration and stuff like that. So I've developed a program uh, right in Microsoft Visual Basic all the code that takes the data off the sensor and sort of reads it out in a way that we would like to read it out. What we have today so far is I have the sensor working with the computer. It's able to display all the depth data. It's able to display um, you know, the motion of anything we put in the field of view. We want to be able to measure solar sails or very thin sheets of material uh, using some kind of photogrammetric technique. The Xbox naturally came up because it uses its own projection of uh, this dot field and then it tracks its own projections. We've tested a lot of the environmental concerns and I've uh, coded a lot of the, the program already, but to get us you know, to sort of this you know, full test that we want to do with a solar sail in a vacuum chamber, uh, there's still some work to do. Now that I've actually looked at this stuff and gotten into the, you know, the meat of how it works, there's a lot of other applications that I'm thinking about doing also. What we found is that we can actually use the same algorithms on our crash test dummies. So what we're thinking about doing is placing some of these sensors on board some of our aircraft or crash tests that we do down at the landing facility and actually see if we can track the motion of these dummies as they undergo you know, some type of impact event. 